Hey guys, Pinoy Fire here, and today we're going to make an even advanced mob grinder, other than my other one. And, um, uh, what's a mob grinder? A mob grinder is basically taking loot from a mob without having to actually kill them yourself. So, the whole idea is that we're going to use these two, uh, these, uh, these platforms so uh since mobs can spawn on slabs and remember that you gotta that's uh really important when you're making mob grinders so uh when you're so uh since they can't um sp spawn on spawn on uh slabs they can only spawn around here and um mobs tend to like um standing up on these uh these trap doors so um for mobs it, when they try to stand on it they um they'll um f actually fall down so if it was like this they would actually stay on but if it was like this uh they would really just fall off but for me i wouldn't so uh let's say that this stone block equals this platform so we're going to show the whole idea of how we build this thing so our glass is our shoot this sh um it depends on how long it is the longer it is the better so um it would uh so they would die completely you wouldn't want to have to kill them yourself so make sure you make it 20 to 30 blocks high so once we get that done uh i couldn't fit all the trapdoors on these things but if they don't have any just assume that they do so, uh, like I said, the stone blocks are the platforms, so they would spawn around here, and once they fall off, they fall off into this current right here, and once they reach the center, they'll fall down through the long chute, and they will die. And, uh, I guess that's the whole idea of this mob grinder, the advanced version, so... We're, of course, gonna not wanna, we're not gonna want the water to be, uh, going through the chute, cause that would just, uh, save their life. So, how far does water travel in one straight line? So, in MCPE, it travels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks. So, we only want the water to reach the edges of the chute. So, uh, since we have everything, let's build it. We'll build it, uh, we'll build it, um, on a flat land. Right here, this is perfect. So, we're gonna make a chute out of glass. You can make it out of any block. So, but for this video, I'm just gonna make some glass. You can also use glass panes if you want, but as long as it's placeable. This will take a while, so we're gonna probably fast forward this video if I can. But we're gonna make it possibly this high, right there. And since we only have a 64 block limit, high limit, we're just gonna make it this tall. But of course it would be a little bit taller. Just a tiny bit taller. But we're limited in MCPE. We will stack it up right about there. And we'll do that for all sides. I'm going to do all corners first. There will be uh, three or four parts to this video, so stay tuned for my uh, for my next mob grinder videos. I will also con I'll also continue with MCP airliners because I have like five more. Just kidding, like three more. So once we get that, I'm gonna work on the other pillar right there. 
You can also build this in P uh, PC. You can also have you can have this in um uh, you can have some uh, hoppers here to um to uh, actually get the items without having you to pick them up by yourself and you can connect those hoppers to a chest which may lead to your house which is really efficient I've actually not built this in a uh, survival but um I've improvised on uh, on other people's ideas I took their ideas I mean not take I mean like I improvised off of their ideas and then I um, uh, made this idea right here, or this whole, um, this whole design. So, we got that done. We probably have some 70 blocks high. I'm gonna put some slabs here so the mobs won't spawn. And we're gonna put some doors. <clears throat> we got those doors done, and we're gonna start with the streams or the currents. So we'll count this uh, glass ball a block as one of our blocks to put our um to put our water. So we already have one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're of course gonna need a back part of the um part of the back wall of the um of the current so it won't be streaming down by the back once we get that covered we're gonna put some walls right here and once we do that I'll demonstrate you guys so if I fell down here, if, say if I was a mob, um, I would be pushing. I would be pushed along this current and fall down and die. So we're gonna do the same thing on all the other sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and these sides. And these sides. So I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. So we're just gonna build this without me talking. Until we get to the um until we get all of them all of the currents done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And cross <laughs> if we're building this in PC and survival, um, I would, uh, I would. Rather not make this out of wood, cause there would be lightning and all that stuff. So, um, please, um, uh, listen to that. If you will. Cause that's really important, that's just gonna burn down your whole thing, and it's gonna make a giant disaster. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got that done. And on this side too. I'm gonna put the platform under. Oh, we'll just leave that block there. And we're gonna build off of that. Make the walls so the water wouldn't fall down to the sides. And we're gonna put our water. So we got uh, part one done. Uh, stay tuned for more mob grinder tutorials. They will like I said, three or four. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.